Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm going to do the first of, um, in a series of the You Choose My Makeup, My Eye Makeup um, videos. So the first one I'm going to do was chosen by um, Doodles Chucky and her Christian name is Julie. So she chose a Clarence palette so I could choose any colours to use from the chat from the Clarence palette and then she said one colour from my Z palette so I chose um, this one and it's called Nocturnal and it's a MAC colour and it's called Nocturnal and it's this lovely purpley shade so Oh, and also, um, I've had to choose, you know, my my basics from my kit, um, which is my crease colour. So that is milk chocolate from um, Natural Collection, and this will appear in all the videos that I do. Also, um, a colour for my brow bone and what I dust over. Um, my what's this stay don't stray from benefit primer so this one i've chose this time is from l'oreal color infallibles and it is the coconut shake and it's just a matte creamy color so i'll be using that or maybe um, my Wet n Wild Brulee one. So Julie, I will take up your challenge and challenge and see what I come up with. Um, I haven't practiced this, so fingers crossed I haven't practiced this, I am telling you the truth. So this is just straight in and I'm going to do both eyes at once in these videos. I've got all my base makeup on, it's just the usual, so we'll get that up out of the way hair behind my ears, zoom you in a fraction, there we go, and I'm going to put the eye primer on. So I'm hoping that I've got everything that I need down here. Am I still in focus in the shot? Yes. So, it seems strange doing both eyes. <laughs> one video because I only usually do this one don't I? I usually have this one done. So I'm just going to dab that in. I've done my eyebrows, they're not the perfect brows. <laughs> my brows never come out the same two days on the top. So, and I'm going to dust this over the top. It's just like setting you know your face makeup you know and you put your your foundation down and everything else and then you go over with your powder I just like to do this and it gives me a dry base to blend my shadows on top and it sets everything in so. just hope this video isn't going to be too long for you <laughs> with doing both eyes because I didn't want to sort of cheat by doing one eye and know what I was going to do so <laughs> we will see how it goes right, what I'm going to use is this colour here on my eyelid so it's like a shimmery pinky colour I'm going to do my crease first and above because I have hooded eye with age I never used to have hooded eyes I used to have you know really good lids with a nice deep crease and this was all lifted but with age it's all gone south so I go in the crease and above with this color now so 
this one isn't quite as bad as this one. This one drops a little bit more. Um, and when I'm tired, this one drops a little bit more. I had a bad night last night, so I'm really tired today. Um, oh, I couldn't sleep. I was up and down all night. And the thing is, when I'm awake, I need to go for a pee. <laughs> so I can't just lay there and um, think, oh, I'll go back to sleep. I have to get up and go to the loo, which makes you a little bit more awake because you, you know, well, it does me because I've walked from the bedroom to the, to the, to the bathroom, you know. But there you go. So I'm going to try that, see how that goes. I might add some more of that later. Um, right, base colour for my lid. Tap it off. And here we go. Press that on. Now oh, it's quite a pale colour. I'm going to have to build this up. It will build. Yeah, the colour's coming up now. Fall out. to get my shadow shields out. Pop that under like so. These have been used before so they're not too sticky. I just hope they're sticky enough to stay on. Oh, that was the brush I was using. So, here we go again. Yeah, that's... Uh, Robert has. Why? Um, because he wanted to use it on the TV. Oh, oh sure. with. He's got the blue one. He's got the blue one. I've got the blue one. It don't work properly. He's got mine out in the computer. Oh, right. <laughs> That's just my husband complaining about my son. Well, go and ask it for it back. My son has everything that he needs upstairs in his room, but you know he's 21 years old and his room is a pigsty, and I refuse to to do it for him. And obviously, you know, when he wants to use something, he can't find it. But there you go. He used to be really tidy when he was younger. But what happened, I do not know. <laughs> right. And then on the inner corner, I'm going to, if I can find my brush. There we go. I'm going to put... What's that look like? No. I think I'm going to put the peachy shade. Oh, I did look at the pink, but I think that's too pink. I'm going to put the peachy shade as a highlight. I'm really enjoying this. Makes a change for me choosing, choosing the colours and and the brands of. You know, I know I did choose the three palettes, but it's like you're choosing which ones I'm going to use, which is it's quite fun. And then having not played with them and decided what I'm going to do is making it much better too. So I'm enjoying that. Put that in there. Like so. And then I'm going to use the semi-precious. No, it isn't. The nocturnal. Wrong one, I think in a different colour. So, and we've got the purpley colour. Sorry, I'm just sniffing. I do apologise. It's hay for you are kicking in. As again. Right. Oh, I'm using a pencil type. A little bit more of the fluffier than a pencil type brush. And I'm just going into this nocturnal colour. I'm going to put it on the outside part of my eye. So I'm just 
going to place it and I'm going to take it into the crease a little bit I'm just going to build it up as I go see how we go I'm going to blend in a moment These look quite pretty together. together. Right. Got a fluffy blending brush. I'm just going to blend the top together just gently. I'm going to pop in a little bit more of the crease colour. Just taking it a little bit higher above the shades that are in the crease already. And some more of the nocturnal. I want this nocturnal to be quite a, not dark, but a, because a, it's a more vibrant colour. I want it to stand out a little bit more. And I'm going to add some more of the lid colour, because that seems to have got lost a little bit along the way, which it does. So just in the middle. there yeah, quite liking this <laughs> I think I've just said that before I'm just going to run a little bit more of that nocturnal through the crease And take it up a little bit more the outer corner. And it's a blending brush. Just blend through. I did get a black liner out, but I have a purple one. And I'm thinking maybe I might actually use the purple one. Oops, I've got that on the end of my finger. Oh, I hate it when I get things up my fingernails. You know, they're short as anything, I can still get things up. Um, I've got this um, Rimmel. Zero 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 three purple, and I think I might use this instead of the black. It looks like I mean it's very very dark, so it could be mistaken for black at a distance. Yeah, I'm going to use that. Right, liner on. Start in the middle. And work my way out. Go. Mm. 
sorry, I've gone quiet. <laughs> I am concentrating here. Oh, I should have done this eye first. <laughs> this eye doesn't go so well. Oh, I'm holding my breath. <laughs> Does anybody else do that? When they're concentrating, hold their breath. Shouldn't do it, it's really not good for you. <laughs> well, how far have I brought that in? It's about right. Oh, that's gone quite well. I think I'm not going to put any more on. I don't want to go over the top with it. Right, I'm going to pop a little bit of this banana, what was it? Is it banana shake? Oh, co coconut shake as my highlight. It is a matte colour because we have quite a lot of shimmer there. I'm going to go matte with my highlight. Take a little bit more of the nocturnal and pop that there a little bit more. Just want to bring that out a little bit. Just give that a little blend, just lightly. it on the top and we will ah curl I'm just gonna pop a little bit of powder on where my sticky bits been just under my eyes just a little bit I'm using the MUA skin skin divine define hydro powder it's really nice as well as being cheap I'm just going to smudge that a little bit with my finger. And I'm going to curl my eyelashes. I'm not doing your requests in any order of who posted first. I'm just picking out the colours that appeal to me on the day that I film. So I hope that's okay with everyone. Right, I am going to use my Essence Lash Base. I need some more of this. This is getting a little bit dry and clumpy, so I've got to be careful with this. got to make a list. There's a few things that I need to um, replace and um, there's a couple of things I want to try. I want to try um, one or two probably of the um, bo uh, Bourjois um, liquid lipsticks. Um, I was watching a video of someone that was using one of them and I thought, oh, they look quite nice. Oh, that's gone clumpy, you see. Too much on there. Let's do this 
same on the other side. Oh, look. Um, clean mascara wand. And try and remove some of that. There we go. There, that has removed some of that, as you can see. Still a little bit too much on there, but this is the time to throw it away. But I can't throw it away until I've got a new one. Right, the mascara I'm going to use is the Rimmel Extra 3D Lash. I'm trying to get this used up so I can go back to my um, wonderful mascara with argan oil. I've got itchy back, sorry. Oh, I can't reach it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so I really, really like that mascara. It was keeping my eyelashes looked after and they weren't falling out. But fingers crossed and touch the woody. Um, at the moment, they're okay. I need to wriggle through and this mascara is about at the end of its life as well see there's things I need to replace <laughs> but I think I've got a few more mascaras to use in my stash before I can buy um, another of the ones that I like that I just mentioned wriggle through Right, and over that, because this is not waterproof, I'm going to use my um, Max Factor 2000 calorie, calorie, calorie mascara in black, and that's waterproof. Just give that a light coating. kinky and oh it's not behaving itself sorry about that right it will flatten down um i'm going to run a little bit of this purple liner underneath my eye just connect it up with the top and just run that. Hmm, I would do if I had any on the brush. You either get hardly any on your brush or you get far too much with it. Doesn't seem to know what an in between is. There we go. It's a lovely purple. small pencil brush. I'm going to pick up the nocturnal and run that over that just to set it in place just at the outer corner there. Uh, 
like that. And then I'm going to rub that off and use some of the colour that's on the middle of my lid we first put down and run that. Hmm, that doesn't work really, but it does change it slightly. Maybe I should have left that little bit there bare. Like that. And then with the inner highlight colour, I'm going to put a little bit more of that down into the corner and then bring it along the bottom. That. Like so. There we go. Just trying to, you know, this takes some getting off. This is a wet wipe. Does stay put when it's on your face. Right. I have used my W7 Cheeky Trio um, collection here. I have I have used the bronzer here to do my contour. I have used the blush as the blusher. So I want you like a, a peachy, neutral, pinky colour because it's, it's a little bit of a mixture between a peach and a pink, this one. And then I use the highlight powder um, to highlight just a little bit in the places that I highlight. Right. Um, I have used the Dr. Jart BB cream as a base over the top of my Nivea men's post balm shave. Now, lipstick. I have a nude here. I'll just pop that on glasses. No, I'll do it with that glasses. <laughs> I can do a nude without glasses. So, we have a nude look. And tell me which one you prefer when you see the video. I've lost the lid. Oh, there it is. So we'll carefully wipe this off. And now I'm going to have to use a pair of glasses because I'm going to use a colour. And then I have a pink. Oh, that nude was an essence colour and it's in the nude. <sniffs> Sorry for my sniffing. This is a pure colour cream lipstick from Estee Lauder and it's in number 55, Blushing. Which way are you? That way. Is it? No. It's this way. Hang on. Yeah, it is this way. There you go. This is a pink shade. Pop my glasses off. And that's with the pink. I'm not keen on that one. And then I'm going to use a liner because I think I'm going to stick with the next colour. And the next colour is a Colour Sensational Maybelline lipstick in 338 Midnight Plum. So I'm going to do Outline my lips, glasses, be a good idea. Oh, I've got a 
a wobbly line there. I have a scar here and uh, it's not good for lining my lips around. <laughs> Press my lips together and I'm going to smudge that in with my finger a little bit because I'm not going to fill my lips in with this because I don't want the lipstick to be too, too dark and I don't want to change it too much. Like this. this is a lovely shade, um, a lip liner. It makes a lovely, if you fill your lips in completely and blot it, it makes a lovely lip colour. And it's the Giordana Easy Liner for Lips in Cabernet. Um, that's a US make, um, but I buy, buy them on eBay. And you can often buy them in sets of three for quite cheaply. So we'll put this lipstick on now. I think this is still on the Maybelline stand, so I think you can still buy that. But you can buy pinks and nudes by any brand anywhere. So, let me have a look. Yes, I like that. That's my favourite. So, there you go. That's the look I've come up with, Julie. I do hope that you like it. Um, I think it's very wearable for daytime. Um, you could amp it up, really amp it up for an evening look um, by lining the inner water lines, top and bottom, um, by adding um, a slightly darker purple at the outer edges to, along uh, on top of this colour that I've put down, add a a darker colour and really darken up that crease a little bit um, and I think you know and, and do a wing if, you, if you're into doing wings um, and it'll be, I think it make a gorgeous nighttime going out look so I hope you've enjoyed this I hope Julie I hope you've enjoyed this and I'll see you again soon bye bye for now